You know, he's been in movies, beef jerky commercials, and even has his name on a line of coolers. And this morning, Nate Benson and I take to the woods to track Western New York Bigfoot sightings in the third installment of our series, Unknown Stories of Western New York, Monsters, Myths, and Legends. One of the most sought after and oft spotted mythical creatures through the ages and around the world goes by many names, Yeti, Sasquatch, Bigfoot. The height of the creature you see right next to that number four up there. Terry Belke and Two the Outdoors traced his path to the Adirondacks, where he was reportedly spotted by several people, including police officers, in August of 1976. Was described as being between seven and eight feet tall, having red glowing eyes. Western New York is quite strong in, in reported sightings of these giant, shaggy, very often fast running critters. Historian and storyteller Mason Winfield says that every area that has woods has Bigfoot sightings, and we are no different. Some believe, others don't. And Winfield says psychiatrists like Carl Jung might even try to explain it away as a psychological manifestation. Jung would say that this probably represents the shadow, you know, something in our own unconsciousness. Native American culture, however, offers its own explanation. In the early stages of life on the planet, there was a segment of time when there were non-humans, but they were two-legged, they were standing upright, they, and they actually, they, they called uh, these beings stone giants. Seneca storyteller Michael Bastine says they were created with a strong link to nature. And these stone giants uh, were given certain powers that worked within nature. Those powers included making thunder, wind, even moving things like trees and mountains. Legend says that at some point, though, one of them began using his powers for his own entertainment. And the creator told him, he says, because you've been abusing these powers that you've been given, I'm going to remove all the stone giants from, from this land. He pleaded with the creator to not punish all for the actions of one. And he said, and I'll make this promise. If you allow us to stay and, and reside on this land, we will only use our powers to protect the land and keep sacred places sacred. Sacred places, perhaps, like this burial mound within the woods at Art Park, not far from a sighting that Winfield says occurred in the mid-70s. Somebody found bones and a very unusual skull along the, uh, it, it was kind of along the uh, riverside in, in Lewiston. And uh, there was a bit of a pelt with it, and these bones, the skull, the pelt, were recovered. Unfortunately, those hunters could never convince anyone that it was more than just animal remains. I talked to hunters who had seen these things. I talked to a hunter, a guy that had hunted bears, he had skinned bears, and he said, I looked at that skull, I held that skull, it was no bear. Was it the remains of a stone giant? Just one of the questions that have been raised by such sightings. Others question why no one has ever been able to capture one. And again, native culture offers a possible explanation. Are they physical beings that can actually be found? And I'm thinking they're beings that can actually transmute. They can actually go from non-physical to physical. Sending a message and preserving a mystery within the unknown stories of Western New York. And Winfield says that in a weird coincidence, there's often an uptick in Bigfoot sightings at the same time as UFO sightings. Huh. Yeah, figure that one out. By tomorrow, uh, but tomorrow we will take you to an historic Southtown Cemetery where they say hellhounds often howl. Ooh. I'll tell you what a hellhound is. All right. And where they're howling. And uh, just in time for Halloween. So interesting. Pete, back up to Art Park, though. When you leave a concert at Art Park, lots of people cut yeah. through those woods to get to their cars. I, I won't do it. Won't do it. Well, I'll just walk the long way because there's something about that creepy burial ground. And now with the, yeah, uh, you know, whatever was found there, whatever that was. And it's a huge burial mound that, uh, yeah. that is centuries old. So if you believe, there's certainly a place to believe in, for yeah. sure.